Good morning, folks. We've got several updates. We hit top science news making the rounds, a little review, and finally, a day off from solar activity. Let's get started at spaceweathernews.com and we find the last 24 hours on our star pretty quiet. The northern coronal hole is extending southward and has set its solar wind our way, due to arrive as we enter the weekend. With the phi angle flip in the solar wind occurring overnight, the solar wind magnetic reversal reigniting a bit of geomagnetic instability. Of course, the filament eruption CME two days ago is still on its way. It's expected to hit in about 24 hours, so it may have arrived by tomorrow's show, or it may wait until the day progresses. Minor geomagnetic storms are forecast. Best wishes go out to those affected by the tornado outbreak last night. The energy transition at sunset was phenomenal and delivered isolated patterns of pretty extreme weather. Very much at risk of that again tonight. We are off to DrRoySpencer.com and first, folks, this guy is between the mainstream climate science and the truth of solar climate forcing. He rails on the mainstream, but he's also made it clear he doesn't like the observers. But I'll give the former NASA chap a pass today because three recent articles on his blog are fantastic, tears a bit into the carbon pollution attribution story, and then tears a bit more than a bit into the global warming paradigm that follows from it excellent reads, and also excellent global temperature delivery days before the governments tend to give it, back up a touch this past March after the February global data was exactly average. Big story in mainstream space news is the comet, because those people don't understand what that Neptune story yesterday actually means. 85 miles across is no doubt a huge comet, for sure, but that's about where the story stops. It is good to get a reminder that when you hear something about a planet-sized comet, that's just the dusty coma surrounding it, not the comet nucleus itself. And as for how close this one is coming, well, it would be quite the show in the inner solar system if only it was actually going to make it here. Closest approach is still farther than Saturn. It's coming up from the south, where it will break through the orbital plane of the planets way out there sometime in the 2030s. Now, folks, if you missed that Neptune story, just go ahead and watch yesterday's video. Its atmosphere just did something scarier than Pluto's collapse in 2019. To answer some of your questions, no, its conjunction with Jupiter this week was not a factor. This has been 2003 up to 2018 data with a tack on by Hubble in the last year. Not something that happened this week. And as for that other story some of you are hearing about an alien base on Neptune, a supposed alien contactee was told just yesterday that, hey, yes, we are awakening Neptune and things are coming. And while I believe in ETs, what, they turned it on in 2003 and didn't say a word to their human contacts until the day after NASA releases the info? They didn't know about it earlier than that? Wasn't worthwhile information to give their contacts? Forgive me, folks. Aliens are probably real, probably here on Earth, and probably going to make themselves known. But they are not contacting people on social media. Certainly not to update human mainstream science news discussing things that happened in years past. And when it comes to what we are seeing, what happened on Neptune is exactly what we've been predicting for years. Exactly what is expected given the magnetic collapse of the solar system. Keep your head in the game and recognize that for every piece of gold in the online community, there are thousands of pieces of dirt. Lastly, folks, if anyone will be in Colorado Springs on Friday, we had a couple canceled tickets, so any last stragglers, there are spots for our 21 and over social event at the Garden. More than 120 observers will be there. Link to snag those last couple tickets is found below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.